This is the first video for section 1.2 on linear equations. Now last time we started looking at relationships between two variables and we did so qualitatively. Now we're going to add in numbers and once you add in numbers you can do all sorts of things. We're going to be able to make complete graphs, uh, we're going to use tables to organize our information, we're going to be able to write equations uh, that will help us describe the relationship between the two variables. Chapters 1, 2, and 3 of our book focus on what are called linear relationships, uh, meaning that the equations and tables and situations we'll be looking at uh, will be ones where the graph turns out to be a straight line. Now let's go down to number 1 on the handout, and this brief video simply looks at identifying linear equations. Now this is probably something that you've done before. Take a look at these six equations. I've written you six equations. Some of them are linear. In other words, if you drew a graph, you'd make a line. Some of them are not. See if you can determine which are which just from looking at them. What you should have come up with is that three of them are linear. These three are what we call linear equations. How can you tell? Well, uh, informally, you might just say that if nothing strange is happening to the x and y, if they're just sitting there by themselves, then you're going to have a linear equation. This equation has an exponent of 2. This one has a couple of two exponents. This one, the x, is sitting up there in the exponent. We'll deal with exponents later in the semester, but for now the equations we're going to be working with are like the three that are circled. As far as a more formal definition, though, let me give you one for a linear equation. We say this. An equation that can be written in the form y equals mx plus b, m and b are just numbers, is a linear equation. If the equation can be written in this format, a y, an equals, a number, an x, a plus, and a number, then you know it's a linear equation. Now if you look at our three examples, only this one right now fits that format precisely. A y, an equals, a number, an x, a plus, or in this case a minus, and then a number. But what we're saying is that even the other two that we circled could be written in this format if we wanted to. For example, the last one, if I divided both sides of this equation by 5, well, that's going to turn it into a y by itself on the left, and then x over 5 is the same as 1 fifth x, and now it fits the pattern. A y, an equals, a number, an x, there's no plus number at the end, but that means it's just a plus zero, and so it still fits the pattern. Your next step is to go to video two. We'll look uh, at this first example in a little bit more detail in video two.